cars. <laughs> Share the road. Oh, oh, I'm getting on the other side. Oh, shoot, no, I'm not trying to go around this bend. I have no car see me. Yikes. I see some animals. So I could show y'all some animals. I don't know. How's this path going? See, I don't want to be like, I want to see some animals and then I go off the beaten path a little bit and there's like something I don't want to see. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, y'all. I got to put this back on. Ooh. This is good stuff. Okay. I'm not going to lie. They got the craziest birds around here. I thought pigeons were bad. I don't even know what the birds are that they have here, but they're big and they're like blue and black and they got a giant tail on the back. And I was like, and they kind of like squawk at you. And I was like, first time I was like, what the heck is that? What is that? It's like a turkey. I don't know what that was. It was a bird. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. This turned into a vlog. Is that what this is, a vlog? Where I just put my big face in front of a clunky camera and talk about myself. Is that what defines it? I'll tell you what. I just want to tell you, I live here. <laughs> I live here, you guys. While I'm here, maybe I'll record this section about my move. I'm not going to get too much into it because it's actually very, very painful. <laughs> A hard experience to get through. Huge lesson to trust my own intuition. So basically, as many of you know, I did a ton of research on movers. Um, I found one that was very, very reputable. Everybody loved them. A plus on Better Business Bureau, the whole bit. And hired them, gave them my money, was in close contact with the sales guy, even up until the day before, but dispatch never gave me a time when they were coming. And I kept calling and calling. They kept saying, oh, don't worry, don't worry. They never showed up. So I called them and said, okay, well, can you get here tomorrow? And they were like, okay, we'll call you later. Never called. And then I finally called them back. And the guy basically lied to me and said that they couldn't send anybody to help me. And it was sort of like too bad, so sad. <laughs> and just kind of left me to lurch. What made it worse was that my landlady, for whatever reason, promised the new tenants the keys early. I was paid up in my rent until July 31st. I was forced to give her the keys on the 29th and the whole time she's screaming at me and putting me down and saying I should have done better to get movers and basically that I was irresponsible and that all of this was happening because I didn't know what I was doing. And you know, I kept getting into this space where you know, I'm feeling bad for everybody else in this whole situation and it wasn't until I kind of got out of that apartment that I looked back and went why did I let her bully me like that? Like, why did I give the keys over? She should never have promised. And that was my place until the 31st, right? So now I'm in a lurch, I'm in a bind, and the new tenants offered to let me keep my stuff in the apartment until I could find movers. And they said it would be okay for a couple of weeks, which was so kind and so amazing. But again, don't forget, they weren't, you know, half of that was a favor because that was still my apartment until the 31st. And then a few days after my stuff was there, the new tenant started getting a little impatient and wanting me to get the stuff, even though they offered two weeks, they wanted me to hurry up and get my stuff out of there. But I get it. I mean, who wants a stranger's stuff in your apartment? But again, given the circumstances, they shouldn't have even been in until August 1st. So anyway, scrambling around, I get a hold of another mover who had done a walkthrough estimate for me but they were so expensive and I was like I can't do it it's not worth it I'm gonna huff and puff less now because I'm going downhill <laughs> all right uh this is good story time right so anyway um yeah so he was like oh we can totally help you out we'll do it this Saturday which was like two days away or something like that I'm like oh thank you thank you his office never calls I'm having to call blah 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 same mover kind of story right and his office says, oh, we can't do it this Saturday. It have to be Monday. Well, nobody showed up on Monday. 
<laughs> so here goes this nightmare again, right? And uh, I'm calling, I'm calling. They're like, oh, it'll have to be Wednesday. I'm like, no, you got to get there tomorrow. That's it. Out the door. You got you to gotta get there tomorrow. So they did. They managed to get somebody there. And I asked when they were going to deliver my stuff. Probably August 17th or maybe a couple days after. Then I heard no more. August 20th, I call up. Oh, the, the drivers are going to call you back. I'm like, no, I want an answer. Where's my stuff? Oh, it's on the truck. It's on its way. So I was supposed to go home for my mom's 60th birthday. And because she told me on the 20th that things were on the road, I changed my plans. Didn't go home for my mom's birthday because I expected my stuff would be showing up while I would be gone. And my mom was great. You know, she's totally, totally understanding. And I'm going home in October. Well, I'll make it up to her that way. Um, of course. And we Skyped on her birthday. We, you know, did all that all up and everything. But um, September 1st rolls around. And, sorry for the wind. <laughs> um, September 1st rolls around. I still don't have my stuff. So I call up. And this guy gets on the phone. Someone I hadn't dealt with yet. He goes, oh, it's still in New York. What do you mean it's still in New York? What are you talking about? It's supposed to be on the road. It's supposed to be around the corner. The driver's supposed to be knocking on my door three days ago. No, no, it's still in New York. The parent company never sent a truck. I'm like, have you been calling? Oh, yeah, we've been trying so hard, so hard, so hard. So I asked him why nobody called me. I'm going to give you the view again. I asked him why nobody called me, and he didn't, of course, have an answer for that. <laughs> um, then he tells me, why don't you call them? And I'm like... I have to call. I'm managing this now? Okay. So I call customer service at the main parent company and she informs me that she doesn't have me in the system. After some back and forth, a lot of stress, a lot of tears, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I cracked during this um, because I could have been home for my mom's birthday. I didn't have to miss that. And it was because they had misinformation. I don't know what order the first lady was looking at where she told me it was on the truck because it wasn't mine because mine got canceled. Someone accidentally canceled my move on July 29th or something like that. So this whole time, my stuff has been sitting in their warehouse. They have tacked on an additional, uh, no, $1,000. Yeah, an additional $1,000 on top of my quote. I'm assuming because they've been charging me for storage because of their mistake. Um, yeah, so anyway, that, that was a big debacle. And um, we discovered that it was somebody's, you know, like I said, accidentally canceled my move. And last I heard, they got it reinstated to get my stuff to me because they have no trucks. Nobody has any trucks, right? <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing that. We don't have any drivers. We don't have any trucks. Uh, because of that, they decided that it would be prudent to, I guess, crate my belongings. So put it all in a crate and then just put it on or put it in a crate and then put it on a freight truck and get it out to me. That's where it is right now. It hasn't even left New York still. And what day is today? The 5th, September 5th. So it's been over a month. Um, I haven't heard the new price yet. <laughs> I still don't have my stuff. Um, so on and so forth. The first company, um, I had to file a bunch of complaints against them. They blatantly ignored the Better Business Bureau. And... They're basically refusing to give my money back for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, they don't have a leg to stand on. They, they were the ones who totally screwed up. And um, on uh, August 11th, I got a phone call from this woman from the first company, the first move company. And she's trying to be like, oh, what happened? Like she has no idea, right? Now I have left voicemails. I have told every department what was going on. Pretty much everybody was familiar with this story. So for her to act like she didn't know what was going on was a little weird. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, so I told her and she kept interrupting me and going, oh, that guy doesn't work here anymore. Well, that's a great story, brought tear to my eye, but what about my money? <laughs> Give me my money back. You know, I just want to pretend like you guys never happened. And she's like, oh, I'm going to get the refund in the mail today. You'll have it within a few days. Week and a half goes by, I didn't have it. So I'm calling, they're ignoring my phone calls. I left two voicemails, nothing. So this goes on for a couple of weeks, a little over a couple of weeks. Um, Cause now it's the fifth, so that was the 11th. So that tells you the time frame. And finally, like a day ago or so, I, remember when, I, I called again and I got somebody on the phone, a live person.
person. And this little girl, I don't know who she is or who she thinks she is, but whoo, I'm gonna talk about attitude, dang. And I say this little girl, cause she sounded like she was 12. She was like, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, the only person who's authorized to write refund checks. So apparently there's only one person in that whole company that can write checks. Do y'all believe that? I don't believe that. And if you do, hit me up. I got some stuff for you. You can buy it off me. I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, telling me that the car go by. Telling me that the only person who was authorized to write checks was out of the office due to personal readings and you're just gonna have to wait. Now, this is not uncommon for this company because the people that I had been dealing with, every single one of them at some point was very disrespectful, condescending, um, really rough just like rough and I mean I'm not trying to be facetious or anything I, I really felt like I was dealing with criminals <laughs> like like for real because they had that you know well hello I'm sensitive so I can pick on pick up on people's vibes and they have this ruthlessness about them like the kind of person that has no conscience and it wasn't just one or two there several they freaked me out a little bit so that's where it's at I still haven't gotten my check um, I don't know what to do from here because they ignored the Better Business Bureau. But I did also report them to the DOT, the Department of Transportation. They're taking care of their end of things, so they're going to make them stop doing bad business practices and fining them and all that stuff. But that still doesn't give me my, my money back. So it's been chaos. It's been utter chaos. And see, that's another thing too, because July and August for like all my astrological signs, my, my sun, my rising, my moon, all that good stuff, it was supposed to be like, I should have been like having the best time of my life, you know, like great opportunities, like lots of money coming through. That was another thing I kept hearing. And yeah, I found some money, but um, it's been mostly just going out. So right, let me get over for safety's sake. Yeah, it, it was it was very trying times. <laughs> so that's the story. That's where we're at. All my stuff is with the movers, like I've been telling you guys. So we'll hopefully see what's going on. I reordered some stuff, so maybe the October scopes or whatever. You know, it won't have to be like this. All right, my arm's getting tired. I'm gonna turn this off. Plus, I'm getting into civilization again. They're gonna look at me funny. So anyway, how about I give you one more shot of the mountains? Yes. That's scary. <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is. Love you.